I'm Christina, this is Quite Right, and today I am doing a book review on Icons by Margaret Stoll. Okay, forewarning, I have not written a book review on it, so this is just going on the top of my head saying stuff. Let's just see what comes out. I'm going to try to remember the order I usually do things, probably got a book review in a bit. Let's get started. Obvious, let's talk about the cover because it's oh so beautiful. Look at it. Look at it. I'm doing weird angles because of glare and stuff. But it's it's good. I really love the cover. And um you don't know, I live in Orange County, and recently for my sister's birthday, we went to the Getty Museum in the Griffith Park. And if you haven't read the book, you will quickly find out why those two places are very important. So just before I even say anything else, I was very excited. It's like, I've been to these places, I was able to better connect to what she was talking about, and better immerse myself into the story and how the world is different from the way it once was. So my favorite part about the cover besides of the cool how icons is done is how right there there's a little bit of the Griffith Observatory okay so that's the cover I already talked about I guess that dealt with the cover just so with reviews like this when I haven't planned things out always be aware that there might be spoilers so if you're interested and in make sure you don't have any stop watching now and if you don't really care, keep watching. If you already read the book, then keep watching. It's up to you, really. The four characters are Doll, Ro, or Ru, or Lucas and Tima. Uh, my favorite character, uh, I like them all in different ways. And for a change, usually the characters that are angry a lot, and usually the way that films come out, usually rough around the edges. I don't want to get it together. But, so, but this, I liked Ru. So, Ru. I don't know if I'm mispronouncing his name. Ru or Ro? I'm pretty sure it's Ro. Because Ru is R U E, so it's Ro. So, I, I guess I like them all equally. And I definitely like the tie-in of how their name was like, the Latin form of the Latin name of what their abilities were. So I guess I like little things like that. And I always wonder what was the catalyst point to this whole story. I guess I should, I'm pretty sure she's probably mentioned that in some blog or something about that. But I always would like to know. I'm jumping all over the place with my review. Just go along with the ride. I'm just talking and whatever comes out comes out. Should I skip from characters to a catalyst of why she wrote this? And my ideas to that were maybe the idea or a rough idea of what icons would what an icon would be. Maybe she just wanted to write like a post apocalyptic ish just, well, yeah, society. Maybe she's wanted to write a book about kids with powers. I don't know. Maybe she's wanted to write books in LA. And from that, this icon became what it is today. I don't know. And say so the ending was a bit intense. I wasn't sure what was going to happen. But it's like A, it's like Lucas and Tima could not. You can't die. But seriously, for a second when I thought they might send Brutus like to somehow detonate the bomb, I think that's when I lost it. Because we always lose it when pets are about to die. The plot line was fine. I liked how between every chapter there was the secret email being sent usually to the ambassador from Doc. Uh, another subject. Actually, Doc was my favorite character. That leads me to Doc, who has like six different names in this book. And I really like how, depending on the person, what they called him, calling him, because they all agree that was male. And Cal actually changed the name, so it kept the reader up on their toes of having to remember that these six different names all mean the same person. 
Watch the beater. So I like the yeah, the person with the biggest character, the one controlling the most bits, parts, and pieces of the whole thing wasn't even human. Which I think is probably like some theme or some idea for us to get that I don't care to go deeper with right now. So I have the my main character. I still like the plot, the setting as you ever heard. Really liked it. I think I had to with this book. I think I couldn't put down once I started, so I really love Souls writing. And I can't wait. I think this is a series I should or a trilogy. Probably should look that up. Also maybe then want to actually be the chaos, which that's going to happen. Um plot, main characters, setting to the cover, did a little bit of deep analysis of blah blah blah. On Goodreads, I think I, I gave this book a 4.5. Don't think I gave it a 5. 4.5 maybe. But just to check, go on and, you know, add me as a friend. And all that. I might, may or may not have put some short blurb on it. But right about the point where I thought, no, they're just friends. They don't have those kind of feelings for each other. It was mentioned in the book. Are you kidding me? Right I'm about to convince myself that it's not that kind of book. It did. But I mean, like, white fiction, what do I expect? So, that was nice. I am kind of hoping that Ro and Team will get together, but don't know about that. I also like that there's four characters, and the main character's not three or two. Why is he's up a bit? Uh, I like all the things, her family, um, family, the law of family related things going on. I would recommend it. If you like reading YA and you're ready to read something that isn't so heavily de dependent on there being like a love triangle involved and a bit more focused in on the more sci-fi part of this post-apocalyptic thing, then read. If you're really looking more for some things that opposite, r really heavy love triangle, it could be whatever, long story love triangle bit of why go somewhere else with this book and I have to say I think that Doc was an excellent choice that was really what tied the whole book together and made what so thank you for some my long rambled off into who knows what review of icons by Margaret Stoll and I don't know just wait and see when I make another video don't forget to comment and subscribe below, and thank you for watching. Bye!